Ladies and gentlemen, you're back in Pullman, Washington. We've been waiting for this game all week. Number two, Stanford on the road to take on the Washington State Cougars here at Beasley Coliseum. This Cougar team, 17-2 and two since the start of the 21-22 season when Charlize Ledger-Walker plays. Jones, Brink, Nopu, Jump having a great senior year for Stanford, and I think Tara Vandeveer has found herself a new point guard, and Delana Lapolo, the freshman, having a great first season. Ted R, when she gets the double digits, Washington State wins games. Ledger Walker, Bella Murakatete now on that Lisa uh, Leslie award list, made it to the top ten. And for Stanford, their offensive execution continues to be a focus area for that team. And there is Tara Vandeveer going for her 1179th career victory tonight. <laughs> All right, Washington State basketball to begin. Greg Heister, Angela Taylor were courtside at Beasley Coliseum. Stanford has never lost to Washington State. They're 71 and 0. And the Cougars begin with a turnover. Every day is a new day. <laughs> That's true, Angela. We the Cougars are hoping to put a positive spin on that number here tonight. There's Jones. Brink at the elbow. Hannah jumps some contact there. Ten on the shot clock. There's Jones poked away by Tedder, grabbed out of the air by Wallach. Great hands by Tedder right there. And now Tara, the bounce, Bella Murakatete right at Cameron Brink, and a block number one of the game number for one. Cameron. That's why she's so intimidating. She had great footwork right there, taking front of the defender. And then the block at the other end. Tara, Charlize Ledger Walker from downtown. John skip pass, good catch. Polo now goes to work on Tedder. Oh, it's open in the lane. Turned down the shot. Jones to the post. Here's Brink. Squares on Murakatete. Cameron wanted a foul. Didn't get it. For the Cougars into the corner. Wallach three. Way off. Brink had it. Ran it down. Back comes Stanford. Haley Jones looking for her first bucket. Boy, so smooth. Charlize Ledger Walker. The Polo there defensively. Charlize the drive brink there to shut it down. Motuka, deep three on the way. Jump and Ted are battle for the rebound foul called. She got to her spot on the floor, didn't she? She did, and one of the reasons was because of the, the floor spacing. Both Dimitri and Hannah Jump spaced the floor, and you have to honor that as well. For the to the post. Now Jones squares on Wallach. Turnaround goes. They're finding her spots on the floor. She's taking shots when she's coming. Kiki Iriafin, number 44, on the floor for Stanford. Charlie's Ledger Walker in the paint. Too hard. Jessica Clark has it ripped away by Iriafin. Back comes Stanford. This is uh, India Navar, number 12, on the floor for Stanford as well. Iriafin, Stanford on an 8 0 run, lead at 8 3. Clark wanting the ball inside. Ledger Walker lost the grip. Jones picks it up. Stanford looking for a bigger lead. Again, the spin to the middle. Erie often grabbed it out of the air, and she's fouled. Free throws coming, possibly. And literally stars on the floor every night. Kiki Erie often at the free throw line. It's both free throws. That foul was called on Tara Wallet. Motuga turned down the three to the post. Tough pass for Clark. Grabbed by Haley Jones. Turnover number six against the Cougars. Iriafin poked away. Charlize Letcher Walker called for the foul. It's Washington State. They've got to shore that up if they hope to have a chance to win tonight. Iriafin back at the line. They're one of the better defending teams in not just in the Pac-12 but in the country. They do a nice job of playing solid defense. They aren't turning the ball over as much this year. Zahina to Tedar. Wallach, jump flies out. Wallach stepped back three up the front of the rim. Cougars cold from behind the line. Now one of six to begin. And Haley Jones from the elbow jump shot again. Can't let her get there. Jones off to a three for four start, six points. Stanford's lead is at 10. Wallach pinned under the backboard. 
And again, right now, Stanford like bees buzzing around the ball. And it's picked up the bar. The drive left it short. Jones on the follow. Brink with it. Shot up and good. Stanford just out hustling. Cougars one for ten. Charlie's Ledger Walker one of three to begin. Nice bounce. Murakatete though missing at the rim. Stanford has outscored him since 15-0. Cameron Brink. Jones. Three on the shot clock or the first quarter clock. Jump. Shot on the way. And we go to the second quarter. Washington State 1 of 11. Stanford 6 of 18. And it's a 15-3 start for Stanford. Let's I get a lot of rebounds. Yes. The February. And she's working tonight for this network. Grace Sarver on the floor for Washington State. They need a spark. Stanford's lead is so, so effective defensively. Dimitri. Here's Brink. Here's a three on the way off the front. Tara Wallach the rebound. Polo could not find the ring. She's 0 for 2 to begin in the game. Washington State now with that ledger walker on the screen. Mahina left it short. Long rebound. Wallach with the bounce. Motuga. Spin. And it drops. That's what they were going for. You can tell out of that timeout, they wanted to go to Motuga on the low block. Smaller guard. Stanford is just making every pass and every shot really difficult right now. He gets called for her second pass. So she's got to go to the bench, replaced by Ashton Prechtel, number 11. Ashton may play on the post, but Prechtel put a cap on that story. 65 threes since her freshman year. Second best number in the country for players 6'5 and taller. 6-5 and with that feathery touch from downtown. Contact over there on the far side, no whistle. Ledger Walker trying to get by at Lapolo. Good defense for the first drops. Great yes, patience by Ledger yes. Walker. Great patience right there. She didn't look like she had an opening, but she took one extra dribble. A lot of players will get antsy. And then Haley Jones dropped the shoulder, missed it, got it back, shot up and good. Stanford leads it by 10 again. Not all glitz and and Blair, right? Like, it, they go to work. Fletcher Walker missing inside. Rebound. Motuga blocked by Brechtel. And that's off of Stanford as Washington State ball. And that move a minute ago to the bucket by Jones as Bell America attempting to spin left or open. There's Jones. Tedar stepped in front of that pass from Dimitri. Step through. Dimitri foul called 79% free throw shooter, but down 17 to 9 in what we figure to be a low scoring game. These are both going to be important. Johanna will stay in the game for the time being. Here's Bolivia at the elbow. Again, Ledger Walker guarding Iriop, and can they get the ball into the post? Jones on the free throw line connects, and she'll shoot an extra. That is where she's making a living right now. Haley Jones gets the ball, a nice pick on the ball, creating just a little bit of space. Just a little bit of space is all Haley Jones needs. And Bella closed out a little bit late right on the jump shoot. You don't want to close out late and come into their, their landing zone. And it's, you know, the, the mentality of a player like Haley Jones. She sees the mismatch, and she knows this is my moment in this game. It's my turn to get it done. Inability to shoot from the perimeter. But you can see it's not really affecting her in this particular game. No, that mid-range game is on here tonight. Bailey now with 11 points, 5 of 9. Washington State needed that. That trims it back to 7. Tahina with a big 3. She's been shooting the ball well in Pac-12 play. 46% from the 3-point line. Belibi squares. Shot up. Boy, stayed with it. Great composure on that finish. Quick first step by Fran Belibi on that. Great feed. Bella Muricatete left hand. She'll shoot free throws. Yeah, there's so many good teams, but just so many great players. Now Bella Muricatete, two points. Her first chance of the line. Really alive. aggressive here in, in the second quarter, getting on the low block. And Sanford is, is shooting 0% from three-point line. They have not made a three yet in a prolific three-point shooting team. So their defense is good. They just need to defend the paint. There's a travel. 
one of the big time recruits from a year ago. Freshman from Centennial, Colorado, wearing number 51. All six foot seven of her. The Hina handoff. Wallet. Good touch. Carol Wallet. Brooke Dimitri back on the floor for Stanford. Speed to the post. Three on the way. Bingo. Stanford's first three-pointer of the game. Nice in and out play right there. Lauren Betts comes off the bench and makes a great pass. Denner now with a drive. Free throw line jumper. She's fouled by Hannah Jump. Navarre, the freshman from Apex, North Carolina. McDonald's All-America. 20th rated player coming out of high school. 25-18. Tell you what, if I was gifted, I'd play for Stanford. If I had the grades. Well, I'm talking about gifted, there is uh, Haley Jones, yes. such a gifted passer. She saw that play before it opened up and, and created an open, easy lay for the team. Jones now with 13. And another turnover against the Cougars. That's their 11th with 2.52 to go in the first half. Haley Jones, just so prolific in transition. That didn't look like it was open at all, but Brooke Dimitri with a nice backdoor cut, and Haley hit her in stride for an easy layup. That's Magic Johnson right there, partner. Tara talks a lot about it. Like, that passing is what makes Haley special, and so when she's in the open floor with the ball in her hands, it's a lot of fun to watch. That was a spectacular pass. We brushed over it too quick. Dimitri from downtown. Dimitri has been playing some additional minutes over the last couple of games. She adds three-point shooting to the team. Tahina's jump shot is off. Loose ball under the corner. Jones runs it down. Stanford with another chance up by 12. Dimitri just hit that three a moment ago. Motuka will be checking in for the Cougars. There's a catch by Betts. Actually slapped away. Ledger Walker with five points, but she's had to earn them in this first half. Two of five. Stanford's been very physical with her. Here's the lob to Betts. Can't defend that. And now Stanford on a 7-0 run with a buck 30 to play in this first half. Wallet jump shot in and out. Poked out to Tedar. And her shot for three is blocked. And back comes Stanford. Bogzano with the foul or with the uh, the block shot. Here's Jones. Minute nine, and the left hand goes, and Stanford back slapped it away. That ch that pass had no chance to get the Motuga. Betts with the catch. Six foot seven. Guarded by six foot three. Tara Wallach. Shot up and good. Betts with the scream after that shot. Nice patient move by Lauren Bantz on the block. Two time Colorado Gator, Gatorade player of the year. Less than a second between the two clocks, and Cami Etheridge, I think, satisfied to let the clock drain play for one. Down 36 to 18. Stanford 9 of 12 in this quarter after the Cougars had climbed back in. Stanford put the clocks on him again. Three on the shot clock. Tedar's got to go. They won't get it off. The Tuga shot would not have counted .7 to go in this first half. So they'll inbound it. Jones with the heave. It hit the backboard. What a first half for Tara Vanderveer and the Stanford Cardinals. All right, here we go. Cameron Bink, uh, Brink on the floor for Stanford. Played just 10 minutes in that first half with those two personal fouls. The Polos three is long, but again, wide open. Tedar up to Wallach, who was not ready. Hit her in the head. Bella Muricatete with it. Got inside, dumped it through. And then a nice score by Miracatita to get them started here in the second half. Brink the catch, went in deep. Lost the handle, fell to the floor, so did Miracatete. Wallach at Jones. Shot up and good. Great Cougars start. Score the first four. Great start by the Cougars. And again, contact inside, Brink falling to the floor. It looks like Bella got her arm a little bit and threw her to the floor. It might have embellished the contact a little bit. Both trying to prove a point. 
and neither one going to back down. Yeah, and both with two personal fouls now. Brink with the catch. Here's Hannah Jump looking for her first three of the game. Stanford 67 and 4 in her career when she hits at least one. Dead are in the corner. Bounce. Bella Mercatete. So Bella at the free throw line. 73% shooter. Averaging about 14 points a game. Quickly to the basket. She'll have a mismatch, particularly if she gets a good screen on, on the ball. Kiki. Turnaround won't go, but Nopu crashed the board. No box out by Washington State. Ledger Walker with the deflection. And that's off of Stanford. We'll try to make it really hard for Charlize Ledger Walker. Coming off a game in which she scored just five points. Washington State won. Botuga's three. Tara Vanderveer loves to use that bench. I think she's already got 12 players on the floor. Jones wanting a foul. 12 we'll have players to live with a jump shot. Exactly. 12 players, but the key player, Haley Jones. Washington State only converting those 13 to 8 points. Clark. For 40 minutes, it's tough to get a triple double. Yes, that's true. And with block shots, just a dominant player. Betts, is she the next dominant post for Tara Vandiver? Jump, catch and shoot. Pretty shot, pretty result. Great play by Stanford. Oh, she's big, six feet, right? Catch and shoot. Feet are ready before she catches it. Quick release. And the results. And Stanford now their largest lead up to 20. Otuga has it blocked by Betts. Six foot seven. Hard to get it to the rim in there. And her presence on the block again. Good job by Betts just staying straight up. Not using the body. Jones had to go to the floor, preserves the possession. Navarro with it. Dimitri. Betts can't bring that one in off the hands. The ball with her fingertips. 2.59 to play in this third. Brent Heister, Angela Taylor. Stanford has defeated the Cougars. 71 consecutive times. Betts with two more. It's going to be a difficult to stop Betts if you're playing behind her defensively. They try to come over the double. She's got so much size. Jarvis' jump shot is off. Navarro with the handle. To the post. Betts with the catch. All right. We apologize for those technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. You're back to Beasley Coliseum. Greg Heister, Angela Taylor. We're just talking about how good Stanford is defensively it really makes it hard for an opposing team's offense to get the ball where they want it because of the length Stanford has so much size at every position and that allows them to not have to be aggressive on ball they can back off and still clog up passing lanes here's Wallach inside six on the shot clock Ledger Walker hanging in the air will shoot free throws from Charlize with five points two of seven four rebounds the Stanford defense has just made it so difficult I've been really impressed by Stan this is the first time I've seen him in person this season Angela their length with their defense just really imposing another chance for the Cougars here though Wallach on the baseline Tahina lines up the three Betts and Jones and Keep it in play. Cougar basketball. Otuga sets the screen. Ledger Walker. The laser three is well short. Wallach, the offensive rebound. Now Motuga's shot is long. Tahina runs it down. Got it to Charlize Ledger Walker. No box outs from Stanford. Char will not be happy about that. Motuga the catch. Careful in there. The laser over and smart enough to release away from the bucket so that Betts couldn't get a hand on it. Lauren, six foot seven freshman from Centennial, Colorado. Jones's shot is short. And Ledger Walker now content to drain the clock. Washington State will play for one. Charlize the drive at Dimitri got inside but left it short. Jones clears it. And now Stanford with a chance. Here's the heat. Jones was knocked to the floor, no whistle. 
as she looks to the official, but it's 51 to 30 Stanford. And look, we had a great angle. There was there was no space. There was traffic. <laughs> there was traffic as she was yeah. saw through. Kaylee Jones, just a privilege to watch play basketball. Tahina now working on Hannah Jump. Wallow, Wallach with it. Laser. That shot short over Cameron Brink, who's back on the floor for Stanford, and a foul called on Tara Wallach. The one thing that we've learned about Cammie Etheridge and her tenure here at Washington State, her teams don't give up. They will continue to battle you. Well, and honestly, for Washington State, you're not just playing for this game. You're playing for down the road and trying to get into the tournament. Building good habits. Laser off the backboard. And look, I think you got to give a lot of credit to Stanford as they begin this four-game road swing here in Pac-12 play. They came to Pullman Brink with two off the left hand, but they set the tempo and the tone from the opening tip in this game. Shot blockers don't like to get blocked. Laser missed it. Dimitri clears it. with three assists in this game. I think it's virtually the same team. Crystal Ledger Walker not here this year. And now they've got to go on the road and play those four teams yet. Right. In fact, against Utah, they had a chance to win with 10 seconds. Ula Matiga had a great look at three. Murica they can't finish. Another chance. She's on the floor. Brink trying to get it from her. Here's Wallet. There, the drive right at Cameron. Another block. Boy, she has great anticipation. But they don't have the sense of timing or footwork that we see with Cameron Brink. Again, Wallach doing a great job attacking the paint. And Brink is out, out of her yeah. hand. It wasn't in her hand. She got that ball on the upswing. Yeah, so quick to react and put herself in position to block that shot and the foul ball. That's number four on Bella. and appears she's going to stay in the game right now. There's a nice off balance finish by Lapolu or Lapolo. That throughout the rest of January and February, this team could be a lot different come March. Stanford lost a lot of talent last year. Anna Wilson, point guard, and the, the whole twins. And so they're starting to develop some younger players. Like that one. Navarre missed the three. Another chance. You know, Lex, Lexi and Lacey Hole. And, of course, you brought up Anna Wilson as, as well. But, man, they were physical. They were kind of what Tara Vanderveer is as a coach. One of the things that they brought to the table was that extra thing that doesn't show up in the box score, the hustle play. And Stanford's going to need to find those type of players who are going to do those little things that you don't get a lot of credit or acknowledgement for. Guard play in the tournament is, is very important. Well, look, watching them at shoot-around today, this team is deep. And there's a lot of great players that aren't getting a lot of minutes right now for Stanford, and that's... Part of the process that I think that Coach Vanderveer was talking about. Yeah, speaking of great players, that was a great post yeah. move by Charlize Ledger Walker right there. Jones. Betts. Turn around, drops. She's got skill. She's not just 6'7. Right. Well, and, and having depth is a gift and a curse. Increase that roster, know what your lineups are going to be. And if you have depth, you're able to switch it depending on the matchup. You're playing a team that has a lot of big. This this uh, conference is something else. I got to tell you. You know, Colorado can put size on the floor and play physically. Believe me. Of uh, awareness and a beautiful pass to believe me on the cut. Yeah, great feel. Great job by Fran Believe me to cut to the bucket. Van Curvis can't reel it in. No poop. There's Navarre. Betts wanting it. Nan Curvis there defensively. Tahina with the dig. Got it out of her hands. Navarre faked the pass. Drive down the lane. Poked out of there by Sarver. Stanford got it back. We've seen like three turnovers and it hasn't left the half court. And there's the three with one on the shot clock. 
Great patience offensively. Got a little bit sloppy there, but they, they stuck with it. First player in this program's history from Europe, which is hard to believe, really. The laser shot, jump shot is off. We'll leave you with the, the rebound. Appreciate the Stanford offense. You can tell they're trying to get the ball inside the Lauren Betts. She's working extremely hard. They're trying to get her the ball on the block. Stick with the plan. She's earning some minutes and getting into the lineup. This is Gardner. Step back. Over Belivi. Stanford will go to Seattle now. Minute five to go. Papadaki into the corner. Boy, that's a good-looking player there. I, I was watching that shot and that release at shoot-around today. She's going to be a good one. Bogdanas, there's yes. something about a lefty. Yes. Their, their three-point jumpers are just so beautiful and pure. But she didn't miss much today at shoot-around. Fifteen players now for the Cardinal have got into this game. Tara Vandeveer, ranked number two in the country. But I'm not sure, as an offensive rebound results in a bucket for the Cougars, I'm not sure we've seen Stanford at their best yet. They're still working on it. You can tell, again, we, we talked about how much they lost last year. They're trying to replace some of that uh, veteran leadership that they had last season and still try to get their offense going. Their offense hasn't been as fluid as, as we've seen in the past. Denia Harrell with it for the Cardinal. 20 seconds to play. Harold at the free throw line. There's a turnover. You want to see those players that you put in at the end of the game playing hard. Cardinal are going to get to 22 and 2. This will be their 10th play. They're going to be 10 and 1. Of course, their only blemish. Uh, that loss against USC back on the 15th of January, 55 46 loss.